understand Jide, uh, former Super Eagles player who's also live in Uyo uh, at the stadium, is uh, standing by at the moment, of course, to talk to us about uh, this game. Well, Jide, uh, football fans were terribly uh, hurt the last time that Ghana came to Pip Nigeria to Qatar, uh, of course, the 2022 World Cup. In order to avoid the repeat of this sort of episode, how do you think that the Eagles should approach this game? Thank you very much, Ike. It's very loud here, so I hope you can hear me in the studios. Yes, uh, yes, yes, we can. If you recall at the time, oh great, if you recall at the time, the team had just been assembled. So for most of the players, they were on the school team. They basically, they were on trial, you know, by the Nigerian fans. So they were new to the national team. You know, it's a different kind of feeling when you have the Nigerian team jersey and then you had the national anthem. So a, a few of them were rattled, I think, at that time. But most of the boys now, they're used to that kind of pressure. They are mature, they're settled in the team. So um, it's going to be different this time around. Uh, I... Right, you, you were in uh, Qatar for the World Cup the last time, even though that the Eagles were not there. But now there is a chance to make amends. Um, Tell us what sort of feeling do you think uh, that might evoke in you know, Nigerians if eventually you know they qualify you know, for the 2026 Mundial? Oh, um, I Nigeria, we were sorely missed at the last World Cup. Everyone that saw us wear the Nigerian jersey were like, "Where are your players?" People were referring to my time as well, Okocha, Yakini. So the world missed us in Qatar. They miss our fans. They miss our culture, our dance culture, our drums, and our exciting players and, you know, our style of play. So um, the boys are young. They're exciting. They're working out. So I believe that the next World Cup actually needs Nigeria. So I'm looking forward to it. And I can see the, the mood in the camp as well. The boys are up to it. So look, I, can, I say beyond the sky is the limit for Nigerian football, for what I'm saying so far. Well, you have been with the team as a former player. You have been with the team, you know, trying to give them moral support. Uh, you know, since they have been there in Uyo, the uh, coach of the uh, Lesotho, uh, you know, side, Leslie, has been talking very tough, saying, "Look, we are not here to play at all. We are going to play with a winning mentality." Uh, how prepared do you think that the Eagles are, you know, to overturn this? Oh, look, the boys are prepared. All they just need to do is to relax and be um, ice cold. They've played this kind of football games before. Okay, it's not the national team, but lots of spectators and uh, lots of expectations. So what I say in such a day like this is players, don't play the occasion, just play the game. You've played it many times in your head. You've played so many times in similar situations. So everything can stop before the whistle, I can. And I'm looking forward to an exciting match. I've seen Lesotho come up to warm up. And uh, I believe if we stick to the game plan, uh, the three points will be asked today. I... All right. The, the team list is out. And, uh, of course, we do have Francis Suzuho in goal. Uh, Jamie Collins, left back. Bright Osai, right back. Uh, Shemi Ajayi, Calvin Basse. Frank Onyeka, Alex Iwobi, Kelechi Hianacho, Demola Lukman in midfield, and Victor Boniface and Taiwo Awoni uh, in attack. Are you satisfied with um, the formation of the team? Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, the coaches work with them. Don't forget, it's only had two days to work with them, day before yesterday and yesterday. So sometimes you have to stick to the players you've got. You know them very well. You're sure of what they're going to give you on the day. And you'll be looking to a few players to add on as the game goes on as well. So I'm sure that there will be changes. I'm sure boys will come on. But with the team we've got, I don't see us uh, not being able to um, take Lesotho to the cleaners today. I... And Francis Uzoho, many fans you know, have been worried about his performances you know, so far. Um, but, you know, Joseph Pesiro has said, look, we, we have, our, I mean, he does have our trust. And, of course, Kenneth Tumero, who is the captain of the side now, uh, they, they've all said, look, we have, uh, we are all behind him. What do you think as well? 
Um, you know, with the um, Uzo situation, I know there's been a lot of criticism in the press and all, but you have to understand most coaches, they're very reluctant to change their goalkeepers. You can see so many clubs all around the world. You keep your goalkeepers and your central defenders as the spine of your team. So I'm sure that it's going to invite players. I mean, these games, like I said, they're just two training sessions. But before the World Cup, before the AFCON, there will be a chance, there will be chances for other players to come in in training camps. And you'll have a look at other goalkeepers, I'm sure. But for now, I'm sure it's just saying, look, I know, I know this guy. I don't want to change anything. I don't want to make quick changes at the back. Let me just leave him. And then uh, we hope he uh, delivers I can stay. Right. Uh, you were a centre forward yourself. And uh, I want you... And Boniface have got the nod now to, uh, to lead the attack. Um, games like this come with their own kind of pressure. What's your word to you know, the, these two you know, guys who lead the Nigerian attack? Oh, well, you know, like I said, I, uh, as a striker, your eyes cold, your focus, you're going to the game, having played the game several times in your head, you've been in the situation several times. And you know you're going to get two, maybe three chances in the game. So you wait for those chances. And when you get into that zone, you don't think you just pull the trigger. Once you're cool, you're relaxed. Look, you don't think anymore when you get into that zone. And I know that they played this several times. So I just wish the boys um, good luck today because they're playing very well with their teams. So I don't see why they won't put a couple of goals in there for us today. I <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, GD Olubodi, a former Brentford uh, and Super Eagles player, many thanks indeed for talking to us about uh, this game against Lesotho. And uh, uh, fans, all of us here, we wish the Eagles well.